Hey up crew and welcome to my first vlog. I uh never done this before. I know it was I wouldn't say highly requested. I'm gonna just say it was requested, okay? I did a vote on Instagram and maybe Twitter. And people seem to be interested in me doing some vlogs. I don't really know how to put this together, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I did have some ideas on what to cover because I don't want it to just be like random diaries. I know some people do that. Basically, I want to go through something that I've put together. Um, it was an idea that I got from Jazzy0451, a content creator that um, I adore. They put together a, bing a bingo card for 2023 and I thought that was a really cute idea. It's basically, instead of having one major goal as like a New Year's resolution, you have um, lots of little things that you want to do or would be nice to do. And then I suppose it's there's no pressure to get a full house on the bingo card. But if you manage to get a few of them and you make a little line, then it's kind of cute, kind of fun little idea. I decided to put one together of my own. A lot of it is content creation fueled a little bit, you know, with little goals on subscribers or followers or um, stats related. But some of it is kind of life orientated as well. Um, my main... My main New Year's resolution for 2023 was to take in the day. So to just take a step back and absorb the day as it is, you know, how I'm feeling. I was doing a lot of that in January, February, I feel like went by so fast. Um, so I <laughs> didn't do it a lot in that month. But yeah, I'm going to try and do some vlogs about it. Maybe we can go through some of the things that are on the list. I do have some things that I started on the bingo card. So I wanted to read a book. I haven't read a book since, um, I want to say since school. I've been outside of a school for 11 years. Um, the only books I've read are like graphic novels. So like my um, Batman graphic novels and Harley Quinn comics and stuff. I decided to pick this up because Dorian Gray gets mentioned a lot in film and TV, but um, his actual story seems really interesting and I wanted to actually read it and understand a bit more about it, but I wanna get into the habit of reading it. And hey, if I manage to read this book, maybe I'll buy another, get the whole collection because they look really pretty to these books. Um get the whole collection and then I can put them on a shelf somewhere but it's a really cute book I like it and it's not what I expected um I didn't expect it to have the sort of start to it that it has I'm not gonna ruin it for anyone that's one thing that I'm taking off the list um just gonna put it there maybe maybe if I do like a little catch up on 2023 so um the start of the year, I have, I've, I feel like 2023 is sort of claiming back life a little bit. Um, I've been to see friends. I went to see Lamb of God, finally. I feel like that gig had been postponed for three years. It felt like forever. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I finally got to see Lamb of God with my fiance. Um, I've been planning a wedding, my weddings this year. Uh, there's a lot of things going on this year, actually. Um, we're looking at buying camping gear because we're going to download this year. So there's going to be a lot of things to vlog. I suppose this year is a good year to start vlogging. Um, as far as March goes, this month hasn't had the best start. I was very ill this weekend. Um, really... I felt really bad. I feel like I sound a little bit ill still. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I haven't done anything else off the bingo card, really. Um, I did want to put some things on there that I know it would be a challenge to maybe 
make myself do, like buy a book. I didn't want to put on the bingo card, get married, go to download, because they're a given. I have the tickets, I've paid for those things, I'm doing them. <laughs> um, so I didn't want to put something on the bingo card that I know I'm doing, just because it's kind of cheating. I'm kind of guaranteed boxes then. So yeah. That's kind of how I want to plan out these vlogs. Maybe I'll add some things to them um, as I go. And I wanted to also touch upon the fact, maybe why I'm doing this, I don't know. I've always kind of been interested in making content, but I never really knew what I wanted to make in a sense. I used to love posting selfies, like use Pixar websites to post little bits about me and like I was someone important that was worth reading about. I don't know. I made some Evanescence music videos using Sims 2 and using all the cheats and CC to make some good music videos. And, yeah, Really cheesy stuff. But yeah, I've always made content in the sh in some shape or form. Um, and then during lockdown, we were all forced online. Um, I got fired, ended up having a load of free time looking for work. Um, and I realised applying for jobs wasn't really occupying my brain enough, but I was home alone kind of thinking, what do I want to do with my free time? I went from having 700 followers to having two and a half thousand followers on Instagram, which was weird. I know it's still not a lot, but it's weird. <laughs> and then I went from having like no followers on TikTok to having 20,000 followers on TikTok. And that was really weird. I was just, I was just following trends and doing lip syncing and dancing videos during lockdown and it worked. And I remember looking into Twitch streaming again and watching some streams and thinking, I can do this. Because when I play games, I talk to myself anyway. I'd just be sat here playing Sims and like talking to myself about what was going on. And I thought I could just do this all day and make content. So I I remember speaking to my other half because I was like, I know I'm, I, I'm not in work at the moment. And I know I've got a little lump sum from um, my uh, job. So can I use that to buy some headphones and start streaming, you know, with a microphone on it? And I did. And after a week, I uh, I started using my phone as my camera. And yeah, I've never looked back. Um, I've really enjoyed it. And the more content I've made, the more confident I've got in my content a little bit, um, the more I've just had fun with it. And even when it doesn't get the views, I try and do stuff that I'm, I'm I'm going to enjoy. I've been enjoying editing YouTube videos, so I guess this is where that's come from. Um, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Even if people don't watch it, I'm still going to have fun and make it. Um, so that's a little bit of background on why I make content. I have sort of always wanted to do content. I always thought it'd be quite cool, but I've always been a bit scared. So YouTube is quite scary. I think YouTube's a bit scarier than live stuff because live stuff you can just keep talking it don't matter you say anything for three hours but with youtube i feel like people want it to be snappy you need to grab their attention it's not rehearsed but it, you've edited it and you need it to be really entertaining straight away to grab people's attention and i just want to make good quality stuff so i'm trying i'm learning editing we'll see how it goes a casual vegan because um, I'm finding it really difficult when it comes to making plans with friends and going out to find vegan options. I tried to be a little bit stricter for 2023. I wanted to be a full-time proper vegan um, but I found it very difficult to remain vegan and also when it gets to snacks I am um, 
I end up having non-vegan options. Although, we did find this little plug-in for uh, Lynn. <laughs> so I do have some vegan snacks in the house, but not all of them. And uh, yeah, so I've been trying to keep up this healthy eating. I do work out as much as I can. I've got a very relaxed um, plan set up with my PT. So we go, we try to go to a PT once a week. I just think it's really difficult when you try and pressure yourself to work out. It kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit. All of my meals are pretty much vegan. One of my favourites is a vegan chicken stir fry. I absolutely love it. My fiance does actually make a lot of the food in this house. Basically because he's better at it. He actually knows what he's doing when he's adding flavour to meals. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Um, I'd be quite happy just putting frozen stuff in the oven. Hopefully the audio is okay. I'm, I'm using my phone for this. I haven't bought any additional equipment. I was thinking of buying a vlogging kit, which was like a, a little tripod for my phone and a little light on it and then an external microphone. But um, I'd heard some mixed reviews and I didn't really want to spend more than like 50 quid on something. So we'll see how much I enjoy making these vlogs. Uh, if I have fun doing them. I can imagine it's going to be quite interesting. But if you enjoy these vlogs, let me know. Either by liking it or leaving a comment. Just to let me know what you thought of it. Because uh, I am treading in unknown waters here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah. Cut.